Good morning, students. Our topic for today is adding of integers. Here are the learning objectives for today's lesson. You're going to perform addition of integers and solve more problems involving addition of integers using appropriate strategies. Adding integers using a number line. Positive integer or positive number, it is a number greater than zero. Negative number, a number less than zero. A great way to solve integers problem is to use a number line. You start at the origin or zero, positive numbers move to the right, and negative numbers move to the left. Example, negative 5 plus 2. You start at the origin and move to negative 5, going to the left. Then, move positive 2, positive going to the right. So you end here, it means your answer is negative 3. So negative 5 plus, plus 2 is equivalent to negative 3. I prefer to use a vertical number line because it is similar to an elevator. Like for example, using the same given, I have negative 5 plus 2. This is an integer elevator. As you can see here, this is the elevator entrance, which is starting from 0. So negative 5 means going down, from 0 going down to negative 5. Then plus 2, 2 is positive, positive means going up. So starting from negative 5, I need to go up 2 times, so I end up here, so that is equivalent to negative 3. That's why negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Watch the direction of the elevator when we do integer problems with the same sign. For example, I have 2 plus 5. So both are positive. Starting from the elevator entrance or 0, going up is positive 2. Then from positive 2, there's another positive which is 5, going up again. So I end up here, so the answer is positive 7. Another example. I have positive 1 and positive 7. We're starting from 0, going up is positive. Then another positive, which is 7. So from positive 1, going up 7 times again, 7 movements. So the answer now is positive 8. Next, negative 2 plus negative 3. Negative 2 is starting from 0. Negative means going down. 0, negative 2. So from negative 2, we need to go down again because we're going to add negative 3. So I end up here, the answer is negative 5. So negative 2 plus negative 3 is equivalent to negative 5. Another example, I have negative 3 plus negative 4. So both are negative. So starting from 0, I need to go down. 0 to negative 3. Then, I need to add another negative. So, from negative 3, I need to go down 4. So, that is equivalent to negative 7. A positive plus a positive travels up then up. But a negative plus a negative travels down and down. So, with that, both signs are the same, so you need or you end up traveling the same direction. Signs are the same, you need to take the sum. When the signs are the same and you are adding, just add the numbers and the sign stays the same. As you can see here on the example, both are negative, so I'll just simply add 3 plus 3 and that is 6. And the sign is the same, which is negative. That's why the final answer is negative 6. Another, both are positive. 
8 plus 9, that is equivalent to 17, and both are positive, that's why my answer is positive 17. Now, watch the direction of the elevator when we do integer problems with different signs. Let's use again the integer elevator. We have negative 3 plus 5. Negative 3 means going down from 0. Then from negative 3, I need to go up because the next one that you're going to add is positive. Positive is going up 5 times. So I end up here. As you can see, the answer is positive 2. So negative 3 going down, positive 5 going out from negative going up from negative 3. That's why the final answer is positive 2. Another example is negative 5 plus 1. So from 0, I have negative 5 going down. Then from negative 5, I need to go up one time because we're going to add plus 1. So I end up here, as you can see, on the integer elevator, I end up at negative Four. That's why negative 5 plus 1 is equivalent to negative 4. Next, positive 2 plus negative 4. And this is positive, so starting from 0, I need to go up first. Then, from positive 2, I need to go down because I need to add negative 4. So I end up here, so that is negative 2. So 2 plus negative 4 is equivalent to negative 2. Next, positive 8 plus negative 3. So going up, positive 8. And from positive 8, I need to going down 3 times because that is negative 3. So I end up positive 5. That's why the answer is positive 5. Next, 4 plus negative 4. So 4, starting from 0, going up, that is positive 4. Then, from positive 4, I need to go down, negative 4, and I end up here, which is equivalent, 0. So, what do you notice about the direction of the integer elevator? So, as you can see there, during, during the example that I showed you, a positive plus a positive or a positive plus a negative travels up then down but a negative plus a positive travels down and up so you could notice that the integer elevator is moving in different directions because both numbers are different so Signs are different, you need to take the difference. In short, when the signs are different and you are adding, just subtract the numbers and the larger number determines the sign. As you can see here, negative 9 plus 3, negative and positive, they are different. So what are you going to do is to subtract 9 minus 3, that is 6, and the larger number is 9, and that is negative. That's why the answer is negative 6. Another, positive 8, negative 3. They have different signs, positive and negative. So if they have different sign, you need to subtract. 8 minus 3 is 5, and the larger number is 8. 8 is positive. That's why the sign is positive 5. Now, we have two rules to follow to sum up this lesson. Rule number one is if they have the same signs, what are you going to do to get the sum of numbers? Then after that, the sign stays the same. Like 4 plus 9, both positive, that is 13. And negative 5 plus negative 12, you're going to add that is 17 and the sign is negative. That's why the answer is negative 17. Rule number two. Different signs, difference of numbers. It means you're going to subtract 9 minus 4. 
So 9 minus 4 is 5, and the sign of the larger number is positive, which is 9. That's why the answer is positive 5. The same thing, positive 5 plus negative 12. So different signs, you're going to subtract 12 minus 5 is 7. Then what is the sign of the bigger number? That is 12, which is negative. That's why the answer is negative 7. Always remember, different signs, you're going to get the difference of numbers and the larger number determines the sign. Now, let's evaluate the following. Negative 3 plus negative 5, the answer is negative 8. Both signs are the same and that is negative, so 3 plus 5 is negative 8. 4 plus 7, both are positive, so you, just, you just simply add, that is 11. And 3 plus 4 is equivalent to 7. Another, 3 plus negative 5, so the signs are different. So if the signs are different, you just simply subtract 5 minus 3, and that is equivalent to 2. And what is the larger number? 5. And what is the symbol? negative or what is the sign that is negative so the answer is negative 2 another negative 4 plus 7 so the signs are different so you just simply subtract 7 minus 4 is 3 then find the larger number the larger number is 7 and the sign is positive that's why the answer is positive 3 another example is 3 plus negative 4 so 4 minus 3 because the signs are different. So 4 minus 3 is 1 and the larger number is 4 and which is negative. That's why the answer is negative 1. That's it. Thank you so much and have a